do 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 Hey Wood Turners, I'm Captain Eddie Castle and welcome to my shop. Today we're gonna do a little something unique. Alright, and I'm I'm looking for a tool to show you and I can't find it. Be doggone. So I guess what I have to do is actually make the tool I want to describe to you. Yeah. Then you'll be able to buy cutters and make the tools and save a ton of money and be able to tell somebody, Hey, I made this. Well, you didn't really make this. But this will be yours. I made this. You know, and you have the right length handle and all that. We'll talk about all that, but all you got to do right now, you know the drill, right? You lined up? You ready to go? Watch. Okay, all right, already. Yeah, I had to cover all three bases. If we're ready to make something, well, you know how to sell these cutters. You see those cutters? That has a 10, now nah, let's get a little bit closer. There's a 10 millimeter, 10.7 millimeter round, a 14 millimeter square. Um, all the, we have them in 12 different sizes. Yeah, and, and before you even ask, Yes, we probably have a cutter that fits that. But do me a favor. Take out a micrometer, micrometer, and go measure the cutter on your tool. Just measure the widest part. That's what I'm going to go by. Squares, they're 14 or 10.7. Radius squares are 15 or 10.7. Rounds, they're five or six sizes. There's a smash diamond and, and all these other things. We probably got a tool you can use. And <clears throat> here's a killer. You're going to save money. A lot of money. But, okay, we're going to start today. And I'm going to pick uh, a 14 millimeter square. That is the original, the most common, the easiest. Yeah, here's a person to think. I don't use it. Why? Because it is aggressive. Most turners want something that's aggressive. Because they've seen all the demos and displays and all that stuff. And these guys put them up there and, you know, and all that stuff goes away. Okay. Why? Why don't you start with like a 15 millimeter square round? Now, our, our two are our, our two. You know, it's kind of round in the middle, like me. All right, but it won't dig in on the corners. So you can go back and forth across the face of a stick or sweep an interior and all that. Much better, easier to deal with cutter. But if you're just looking for the mm, good, I'm good of, the, of the cutting world, you go with the square, okay? That's, that's where it all got started. Now, where did these get started? Well, they didn't come to the wood turning world because the wood turning world asked for them. Well, out there in the wood cutting world as planer blades. Yeah, planer blades. Unfortunately, you have to have a commercial outlet in your community that will stock these blades and sell them in packs of less than 10. It's just the world the way it is. We sell them in packs of three. Now, we'll break the pack and give you one of each and all this stuff. But management, get this. He's already paid somebody to package these cutters with the screws and everything else. So if you want to break the package, we got to go through that labor again. And as you know, we don't have a catalog. We don't have an information system. We don't have a... Because if we start paying for all that, you pay for it too. You really do. So, to all those folks that say, where's your catalog? It's right here. Where's your? It's all. It's on the website at this address right here, www.eddiecastellan.com. Look for cutters only. Go there. We got everything you need there. And, and then if you're looking for a combo, like you, you want to, where did I have? I had one here a little while ago. And oh yeah, by the way, I'm still not well enough to be in the shop on a regular basis. I'm trying to get some things done, but this has got that. 2R2 with that diamond shaped. 
that works out quite okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, if you're ready, I want to put my apron on because I don't want to ruin a shirt over the grinding. And then we're going to get to making this tool. Ready? Ready. Oh, wait. If you're ready, you may want to get your apron on, too. Yeah, it's just an idea. I mean, she ain't looking, but I got to do this to save the shirts. Ready? Yeah, I thought you'd get ready. One half inch mild steel bar. One 14 millimeter square cutter. What do we do? Well, we check the outside width. That's going to be our tool. Then, what I really want to do is get this tool to mount right there. Now, there's a couple of ways to go about this. The one I like it the most, you get look at that. All right, now, the one I like the most is just put a mark there. Put your cutter upside down, just like that, and put a mark at the back of that cutter. Yeah, that's going to be the line where we're going to cut or grind out this part. I'm going to take a. This is my micrometer. It's from from Home Depot, and you can see how fancy it is with the, the soldered in a, or, or the battery locked on and all that. Works nice. Now that line, I don't know you have a problem seeing that. You see that little line that's on there? That's going to be where we're going to put a seat for our tool. Now, how am I going to put that seat there? I'm going to go over to the grinder and grind in a flat spot. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. I'll be back when I grind it. I don't have a camera over there. Just so that we're all on the same page. What I did just now is step over to the grinder and I ground that seat. You see it? It's flat. It's the same distance back off the face of it as the cutter would be. And guess what? If I were to touch that right now, I would guarantee you it's hot enough to melt skin. So work with gloves or protect your hands. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put a little nosing on the front of it, okay? Hey, here's the deal. That's the bleed. That's the cutter. That's the little nosing I did on it. And if you see the, the moisture, it's humid in South Louisiana. And the humidity, no it doesn't. This. Green spray water. Well, it didn't start out green. It just turns that way in the shop. But I keep this around for when I work in steel. Just to bring it down to only melt the fingerprint off. Now, put that on. You see how that fits? Let me get it up there. See? That's where it wants to be. Now, what do we do next? Drill a hole! Man! I take it step by step. I'm going to go over to the drill press right here. Drill a hole. I'm pretty sure you can see what I'm doing here. But this is being held in my cross lock tool for my drill press. Why? Well, because when I do get in the mood to do this stuff, I'm doing a lot of them. So I'm going to put the bit down and I'm going to line this up. What I want to do is come down right in the middle of the hole in a bit. Not too much off one way or the other, okay? And you can just toy it. This is the preliminary drill. Now, what is this? This is a quarter inch bit. And I'm just going to put a depression here. Now, What's that depression do? It gives my my head the head on the screw, the the uh, the, the the countersink on the screw, a place to go hide. That's what I'm doing here. So after I get that, I'm going to change the bit out. 
And some of this equipment hasn't been turned on in over a year. Why is that? Well, I got sick. And I couldn't come out here. And still, it's not really comfortable to be out here. Why? Um, doctors tell me that for about another year or so, I get real careful about falling in my head. Now this is the drill bit for the 1024 tap I'm going to go down through here with. Now, as you can see, maybe you can't see, so we'll get you down here a little bit closer. As you can see, I'm drilling right in the middle of the other one. Right smack dab in the center. And that's critical. Not too hard, just critical. Now, holes are drilled. You can see what I have here. All right, can you make that out? I'm trying to get in the right light. Kind of hard to do, but I have a hole in the middle of a hole. I'm going to tap this for a 1024 screw. Gotcha? Gotcha. Hey, if you wonder why I'm back here again, it's because I drilled the wrong size hole. Yeah. I bought these little stubby bits just for doing this half inch bar without having to jumping and twisting and all that. But I had other bits laying up here and I figured, oh, what the heck. It's got to be the right size, right? Well, now it is. Okay, I drilled it. The right size drill bit. What size is that? It's a 1024 screw. Now, you can go by the, 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 the guide on your directions, or just get a 1024 with a pilot bit at the hardware store. Now, that's what I've got done. What is the moisture? It's not humidity from South Louisiana. Man, no. This is Pam, P-A-M. You see the Pam bottle? P-A-M, Pam. That's not code word for anything. That's the actual stuff. That's the uh, the spray the spray stuff for frying food. And since I'm never ever ever supposed to eat fried food, last year I bought six or eight bottles or cans of it. And that's what we use in the shop for drilling and tapping. Why? It's the vegetable-based oil product. So it's really great for doing that. Hole is drilled. All right. Come up here. Hole is drilled. Nose is taken off a little bit. Seat is made. Take the 1024 bit. I can see this perfectly. You can't? No. Okay. And then we just go. Right down into it. We tighten that up. And that's how it is. Got it? I think you got it. I'm seeing things I've turned on. i got to turn off. Okay. That's it. It's done. You see that? See how the cutter sticks out beyond the steel? That's why we nosed it off a little bit. When I was a cabinet maker, I was mousing it off. All right, and that's it. Now, a couple of things. I used the 1024 bit uh, because the other guys won't really tell you what their what their bit size is. I got go. Sorry you did that. I knocked the remote down with these clot hoppers I have to wear my braces. I will crush it and never know when I crushed it. Okay. So, a couple of things. You saw us put the seat on it. How important is that seat? Not very. Really not. Whoever started doing this, I like to take on my back and kick his butt. Really. Because you can just drill the hole right in the square bar, put the cutter on, put a drop of super glue under it, it ain't going to turn. Next time you need to change it, you take your, you take the screw out, you pop the plier, don't put it back, put it where it's going. Yeah, it works great. Great. 
Alright, next. You see the little countersink we put under the under the drill head when we did this? That's important because see how that screw comes down? Right? That screw's got a neck on it. That neck will hit the bar. When the neck hits the bar, the screw won't tighten up against the cutter. So if the cutter's not held by the screw, it's just gonna turn. So if you get a bar from us and my guy Steve hasn't gotten a hole done properly or whatever, just take it through a bit and enlarge it a little bit. That's all. Or you can call me and I'll mail you another one. But I'd rather you just go clean it up a little bit. You got it at a pretty good deal. And next is <clears throat> once you've made one, why don't you make one to fit every size cutter we have? Then you don't have to decide what to do. Handles. These are 11 inches long. Now, they're made to where you can put three inches into a handle and you have all the rest of it sticking out there and it doesn't hurt anything. How long is a handle? Just three? Just take that times three. So that's a nine inches, the shortest you can get away with. After that, it's up to you. You know, I saw a picture yesterday on Facebook, and I, thanks for joining the Facebook. And oh yeah, by the way, if you're not a member of my society, I, I like that society. If you're not a member of the group here, subscribe. Where? Right. No, it, there is a space right outside of this image that says subscribe if you're on YouTube. Subscribe. Then you'll get all of them updated. And you'll get the access to 250 plus videos that's out there. Okay? They're all there. Now, <clears throat> started to tell you something, got off the track. Boy, I tell you what, after a brain injury, getting back on the track can be fun. All right. You make the handle to foot and fit you. I saw a picture yesterday on YouTube, on Facebook, of a handle with steps in it, where the guy did steps. I thought I had one here, and I really, I've looked a couple of times and I can't find it. What, 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 what's that do? What's that step do? You only put one hand on the tool. It's not like you're going to have three or four hands up here. No. He, he, you don't need them, and it's it's going to make you grab the tool funny. Where if you make it slick all the way from front to back, and I thought slick and slippery, just slick, then you can grab it where you need it, and it works more comfortably. Really does. Now, you've just made a bar to fit your carbide cutter. Took us maybe 20 minutes, right? Mild steel 1024 screw available at the hardware store. Drill and tap available at the hardware store. Handle right out of your shop. I don't do wood. I don't. If you're waiting on me to make wood handles, keep waiting because it ain't happening. Um, why? Well, because I'm busy just trying to keep moving, keeping things going, and getting things like this done. That's all. So, all right, we got past that. Da 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 da. -da, -da, -da. If you want cutters, you got to go to my website. Again, here's that address. www.eddiecastellan.com Go to cutters only and you'll find the cutters. Go to combos, you'll find the cutters. And if you ever saw one that said tips and hints, when I got sick, my lovely daughter and my beautiful wife um, got together and cleaned up the computer to keep us in business. Some of that stuff disappeared. They didn't understand what it was, and that's okay. I wasn't very good about leaving passwords and all that other stuff. And, uh, and in real fact, I was pretty rotten about even putting passwords on stuff. So they've cleaned all that up and the tips went away. But what I do have is under sharing information. Sharing information. Click on that and you'll find most of those things that you need. Yeah, and that's why I stick stuff all the time. And if you're not getting a newsletter on page one... At the lower bottom is a click to get on to the monthly newsletters and tell you how to subscribe so I can send them to you. But after a while now, I'm just going to be dropping them back on page one, and that's where you'll find them. I'm Captain Eddie Castle, and you've been in my shop, and we've been making shavings. 
This is fun. really is. And I'm glad to be back. Thank you for all your kind words and thoughts and 300 plus birthday messages. I'm, I, most of you guys are my age or better. I'm 66. And you realize that just to have a friend tell you happy birthday takes a little bit further than the people that you're with all the time. And that was special and it was nice. And I'm not going to cry on you. I'll cry later. Uh, but we had a good time that day. Really did. You take care. I'll see you back again real soon. And until then, get out in your shop and start making shavings. Yeah, that's the way to go. You take care now.